welcome back to the channel so I am no longer in Scotland as you can probably tell by the videos now so I am working for Mule Vans um, I've been here this is my second week now and so as you can see we are finally left Scotland and we've got a job so um, the videos from Scotland are pr were pretty much probably about four weeks behind um, actual present day so um, I have been out of Scotland for quite a while now and um, yeah I've been working down here uh, with mule vans in Barnsley which is really cool so which is has been great for me and Archie it gives us a permanent base um, it allows me to earn some extra income um, which always helps and it helps us to get ready for um, whatever adventures we are planning for next um, I, there are obviously other things that were needing to be done so uh, I, it's almost coming up to the date now at the end of April because uh, it was Easter just gone um, so the end of April is like my two year anniversary so it's uh, living in the van for two years um, which has gone really quick I can't believe um, how quickly it's gone and the amount of places and things that I've, me and the dog have done in two years has been absolutely mind blowing uh, and I wouldn't have been able to have done all that and seen all these places if it wasn't for living in this tin box uh, but I think the van needs a bit of TLC and it uh, definitely needs uh, and you'll probably laugh at me when I say this a, a makeover as well um, I have been having issues with all my heating systems uh, the gas heating system uh, I've noticed in the past week or so as well I can smell gas outside so I've got a gas leak somewhere um, and my diesel heater was um, like a, a, a basically pumping out smoke like Chernobyl should I say um, so that needed to be done and sorted out so I, I have sorted those issues out and I have done some video recording so I'll put those videos out at a later date um, so yeah um, and a restyle of the van as well so <clears throat> one of the what I am planning to do is uh, here we go again um, it's not the insulation or anything this time I, I, I'm not looking to make it easier for Archie and for me to live and one of the things I always thought was right but in fact is actually wrong is the way I put Archie's bed by the sliding side door uh, which is one the coldest point in the van uh, in the living area but two uh, to get in and out of, the, out of the van you've basically got to go over Archie's bed some of the times and it, especially in the Scottish winter when it's very cold and damp and wet and you, you got muddy paws and muddy boots and you have to walk in and probably step on his bed um, it trashes the bed and trashes the entrance and all that sort of stuff so my plan is and you probably can't see it because obviously you're on video and all that sort of stuff uh, I'm going to take this bed back uh, to make it like a three quarter bed so I can make extra I've got extra room then um, I where my kitchen is in front of me right here that's all going to go that's all going to be like a bigger seating area and um, within that seating area there'll be a big enough area that's the size of a dog's bed that pulls out so at night time, uh, so in the day you can sit on a sofa, but there's enough room for me to sit on there by myself as well um, and do my work. But at night time I can pull the section out, put the pillars down, and it's the same size as a dog bed for him. So it'll keep him raised off the floor. And at the same time as rebuilding that area, and then I'll reroute some more of the diesel heater uh, trunk in around the back here. So. Um, the diesel heater memory heating system will have two vents in the living area to spread the heat around the van um, so where I'm sitting now on the sofa and the work surface um, this is going to be the kitchen area here and I am going to go away from using um, LPG gas 
Um, going to get rid of my gas oven, uh, which has been amazing, but I just tend to not use it as much because I've got the air fryer now and all that sort of stuff. So um, from the bed here, we'll build a little partition to the cabinet above, and then a unit will come across here roughly to where I am at the edge here and then that will just have a work surface with a sink my plumbing and water tank which is under the bed and the plumbing's over here and then the water tank will move here to this side of the van and then will be directly next to the sink basically and then the plumbing will be directly under the sink and that will make it easier in case there's a plumbing issue uh, and less tubing, is it tubing or um, for the water to run from the tank to the to the tap, so so we say. So that will should make it easier on that side of life. And then underneath will be storage. And then all I'm going to plan on doing is um, I'll have an induction hob, um, and I'll have a um, mini little camping stove with gas canisters. Um, that I can use for that as well and my air fryer because that seems to be the way I'm slowly changing my cooking uh, routine so yeah that's going to be this area here <coughs> uh, I am contemplating putting in like a little shower room but not fitting a shower and just having because uh, I have got a 12 volt portable shower where I can just fill that with hot water and stand in a shower room and have a shower um, so that that uh, one thing I have realized as well with uh, moving to air fryer uh, cooking is this the Dometic CRX 50 fridge freezer uh, the freezer section is tiny um, so the my little fridge is gonna stay uh, in the main compartment here um, like so I'm gonna create that extra room so I could put like a shower cabinet here and then my little fridge here next to it uh, but what I have been given uh, by some good friends uh, John and Mandy is like a portable freezer um, unit low unit should I say uh, so that what could easily fit into the, the the garage area as well so one of the things I am planning is I've got shelving underneath here for storage uh, in the garage area is I'm going to basically make that more open plan um, and then put <clears throat> this little freezer cabinet uh, on some runners into the back of the van and just so I can access it by pulling, sliding it out, opening the top, putting some stuff in there, down, push back in. Uh, and that will give me a larger capacity to carry frozen food or freeze food in in the van as well and the after having a really good chat with some friends uh, about this it, it will all that with um, the way the electrical system will work and so on will give me the capability to survive longer off-grid because I'll be able to carry more food um, but frozen food which will last a lot longer than this what I can put in the fridge uh, so that's one of the plans and then my electrical system which is currently underneath the bed here um, where my head is that's all then going to be moved to the front of the van underneath the seating area uh, and the whole reason for that is I um, it, it's, it literally sometimes if I have to go sort out to the garage area and work on whatever the fault is um, what I'd like to do, same as the water pump issue, what I'd like to do is not have to get out of the van, especially in winter, in dark winter, um, so I can then just lift the box seat up uh, along here, access the electrical system. I am going to improve my electrical system, possibly by going an extra 100 amps of lithium and getting a new battery, selling my uh, batteries that I've got at this moment. Uh, I am going to add a few more things to um, uh, this, probably going with a, Sur uh, a Victron Serbo with a touch screen um, to improve a few things. Um, uh, but that is probably, a, it sounds a lot, but that's probably about it. That's all I'm going to do. Um, I, I am going to buy 
get rid of all the wood and, and all that sort of stuff because there's a lot of wood underneath this bed which is using a lot of weight and I think by conf reconfiguring everything it balances the weight out between the two van uh, either side of the van as well um, and then one of the things that I said I'm going to box off this area here um, I've got a TV and Xbox here but I think by lowering the bed down just a little bit I'll be able to fix the TV to the wall here um, because that fucking rattles around <laughs> when I'm driving um, so having it wall mounted in the little compart sleeping compartment will make it a little bit easier so they're the major plans that I've got to do and I'm in no rush to do them uh, as long as they're done by the end of this year so that's my plans that's uh, our plans, that's mine and Archie's plans. Um, other things that we've been up to, uh, we've been slowly working at mule vans and getting my head around what needs to be done and doing and all that sort of stuff. We are off. Um, I did say to myself I wouldn't go to any shows this year, but um, because it's for work related, I will be going to the uh, International Overland Show this weekend. So if anybody's going, uh, to Stratford and Avon, come see us. We'll be um, over at the Mule Van stand. So, you're more than welcome to come see me and Archie, or come see Mule Vans, should I say. Um, other, we are going to the built um, self build weekend at Willowfield towards the end of April. Uh, we are going to be going to a few more shows. I'm not too sure as yet which others we'll be going to. We'll, you'll see us at a few, and that'll be on behalf of mule vans um, apart from that I am just gonna pot around I'm gonna spend time with friends go and see my mom uh, spend time with my family spend time with Archie uh, but the majority of the time I am literally slowly going to be potting around with stripping diesel uh, heaters out uh, stripping this fan out and rebuilding things slowly we are going to have some major modifications done to the van as well um, um, hopefully a improved wheel carrier uh, expedition carrier to the back doors we have started to make some modifications already to the back doors um, that we did this weekend again thanks to John and Mandy for giving me the wood because they have some good wood <coughs> And for Mandy for lending me her back doors to draw from uh, as templates <laughs> to improve my own back doors. So yeah, uh, we've done uh, uh, just that. I think after two years of living in the van, um, you kind of um, realise what is right and what is wrong. And I know I've made modifications in order to improve things because I'm. When I first did this van, I'm no expert, and I never will be an expert at building a van. And I don't really want to be an expert at building a van. Um, I'm not a subject matter expert at van life. Um, but I know what I want from my own van life experience, and I will know what I want in order to live and sustain myself in my van life experience. Um, and unfortunately, but my trial and error has is going to come at a cost. But Tel Aviv, as such. Um, but I will slowly get it right for me. Not for everybody else, but for me. Uh, as always, I'll film things and take you on our journey. And wherever we go and whatever we do, you'll always come with us. And we'll always document whatever we do. Um, and I am going to change a few things with the way I do YouTube as well. Um, that was after a really good conversation with friends about future travels <coughs> and uh, one of the things that I, f I found uh, this winter um, you know I've been travelling around with some good friends um, Lilla House, Phil and Karen and obviously Tina and Marco who are from Germany with Caesar um, and when I was travelling around with Tina and Marco their video would be published on a Monday mine would be published on a Wednesday uh, if somebody else came along their video will be published on a different day and before you know it you're all traveling on the same journey same route but you kind of need to stop 
somewhere, um, especially on a Monday, because Tina and Marco needed to work and publish their video. And then you'd have Tuesday to drive somewhere. Then I'd be like, on oh, no, uh, Wednesday, we need to make sure we're somewhere decent because I need the internet because my video's going out and so on. So um, I am planning to do some travel uh, with some good friends in the future. So we have pre-discussed uh, a lot of things. And one of the things that I am planning to do is to change my video time release dates from a Wednesday uh, to Sundays. And that will probably be um, sometime on a Sunday. So um, after this video, we're gonna slowly uh, drift back to a Sunday. Uh, what I plan to do in the future when I'm back traveling um, is uh, once a week do a Tuesday video which is just like a chat like we're doing now but obviously then on a Sunday will be a feature video of the journeys as such uh, what I want to be able to do is like coordinate things with the people I'm traveling with so we kind of like all working off the same song sheet so we can all travel enjoy stuff and then release our videos on the same day so we can all park up and do our work but still be relaxed in the manner of knowing that the day after and all the day before we can still enjoy stuff and film um, so that's our plans for YouTube as well so the past couple of weeks since leaving Scotland um, like I said one I've been working at Mule Vans and getting my head around now thinking about the van conversion and, and what I need to do to improve um, the, the van and um, thinking about how to take YouTube forward and so on and so on so like I say you're, you're all going to come with us on this journey um, and it's going to be another long <laughs> process of recording and filming and changing everything again but for the better it works so much better I believe especially Archie over there on a pull out bed at night and um, we still have the access in and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I'm waffling, as they say. Um, as always, thank you so much to everybody uh, that has joined us over the past couple of years um, on our van life journey, who have joined us for, for when we're in Europe in 2021. Um, we do plan to go back to Europe at some stage. We I just don't know when. Um, there are a few plans for some other things throughout this year that I can't really discuss just yet um, but could be really exciting and challenging um, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's joined us for, for our Scotland series, series. Um, we will be going back to Scotland at some stage um, and we will be going back for another winter. There's so many places in Scotland that we still haven't been to, still haven't seen, explored, and still so many snowstorms or windstorms that we need to be parked up in. Um, still haven't done all the out Hebrides, uh, so it's one of those things that I need to tick off and get complete. Um, but just thank you to every single one of you that invests your time in me and Archie because that truly is humbling that you would be so kind enough to one like and subscribe or leave us a nice comment or even to the people that have donated money to us it truly is um, humbling to know that so many people invest their time and uh, because time is precious and you're willing to support us so thank you from me and stinky who's fast asleep at this moment in time because it's nearly 10 o'clock at night and um we will see you on the next video soon and we hope you're all well but thank you for everything stay safe don't forget to like subscribe leave us a comment if you can um let us know what your thoughts are on what our plans are for the rest of this year. Let us know if you're going to be at the Overland Show. Um, and like I say, make sure you come and see us. We'll be over in the Mule Vans stand or you'll be back. You'll see us walking around, me and Archie. <coughs> and we'll see you on the road at some stage in 2023.
Bye for now and see you soon. Stay safe. Bye.